Jesse Lee Peterson. Let's get it. Let's go at EA TV. So this one is titled Women's Prison is Reminiscent of Hell. Let's see what this is. So what was it like in prison? At first, it was very intimidating. Uh, you know, I'm a new kid on the block, first time I had been arrested. Uh, and it was very hot. It was very reminiscent of hell. As soon as I got off that county jail bus, it was 112 degrees. Where were you? Chowchilla. Oh. Okay. So the hot wind and the dust comes up, and I was like, oh, it's hot here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. It was very dehumanizing because during that period of time, there, there was a lot of strip searches. So Ooh, gotta, just coming from county jail to the prison, I, you gotta get stripped out multiple times. And these are not, like you see on TV, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of nudity, it's a lot of horrible things that you're having to be subjected to numerous times right. a day. So that kind of was breaking me down. Get see, yeah, that's the thing, like, that's what I'm saying. I saw the video with the guy that uh, shot a cop in the jail. I'm like, bro, how did he get the gun inside the jail or wherever he was? Because don't they do strip searches? Like, did he get searched or did it just catch him <laughs> like a fish and then throw him inside a box? Like, this is crazy. But going through multiple, stri multiple strip searches is definitely um, de dehumanizing. I, I Just from imagination, man. Multiple people looking at you. That's just crazy, you know? But... That's what they got to do on them systems to make sure nobody's carrying weapons and trying to take people out. Because a lot of those uh, keystering things going on. Getting me um, to kind of detach from the idea of, of my personhood. Did you be, did you cry a lot? <laughs> you cried a lot? <laughs> I did. I did. For the first two years, I think I just cried. <laughs> <laughs> and did you eventually become a badass? No. Um, no, but I did learn the the works, the inner workings. Uh, I wasn't the new kid anymore. I the, I had known staff for years, but by the time my third, fourth year rolled around, I I had found a rhythm, uh, and understood the way the game rolls a little bit better than when I first. So like. Did you get into fights and things like that? I got beat up. You got beat up? But you Man. never, you weren't, you didn't start fights. No, no. But why did you get beat up? Uh, well, women, women's prison doesn't have the same type of politics as men's prison. It's, a lot of it is just emotionally based, um, emotionally charged situations. And uh, I just didn't, there's a lot of people that, that need support financially so they meet friends that have financial support and they take that financial support and i i was well taken care of my parents sent me a lot of boxes they made sure i had money for canteen so i was a mark it was easy yeah and hey. uh you know at one point i just got tired of it and that's when i got my Face broke. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got tired of giving your stuff to face them. Face was and, broken. And that's when they beat you up? Yes. Did you fight back? Yes. But you didn't win? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Were you surprised you didn't win since you were so tough on the outside? No. You were not? <laughs> no, no. Did you join groups? Yes, there's different, like, cars. There's different little families. Uh, women tend to um, cultivate little pretend of families there'll be a mom and a dad and kids and uh, you know i'm other so i just would go wherever i wanted to go <laughs> right um anybody that would take me i would i would go uh and then the last leg of the race i was like i just got to get out of here it's time to go did uh so there would be they would create false family mm -hmm. like and, and a woman would play father and another one would play wife to the father and, and another one would be the kids. Mm -hmm. So were you the kids? I was always a kid, yeah. You were the kid. So which group did you fit in since you're both white and? Oh, none, like fully. Right. <laughs> no group fully. Uh, I mean, I, I got along with pretty much everybody. Um, it would just depend on what, what room I was in because there are eight man cells or eight person cells 
in that prison. So you, you create a network with your roommates. Oh. Because you're really, I mean, in a tight space with all of them. Amazing. You, did you get anyone to protect you? You know how they get, I think they always have somebody. Oh, no. <laughs> there were some, some younger, some little tiny people that, that um, <sighs> there was a little tiny one. She, she would say, I'm, I'm going to fight for you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight for you. It was, a, it was the sweetest thing. Uh, but n not really. I didn't have like a, you oh. know. Um, it's weird that an Asian is in prison. <laughs> Asians don't go to prison, right? Not really. So the white side of you went, but not well, <laughs> the Asian part. The whole, it, it, it was all me. This is crazy. <sighs> you said the white side went to prison. You know, both sides of my family are not criminally uh, involved or system impacted at all. I, I really was very independent with this. I, really? I, because I had a great upbringing. I had a very, very strong grandparents that were extremely influential, but yeah, I'm feeling the impact now. I just tried to ignore it when I was running the streets. But now, uh, all of that is starting to really come to fruition. I'm, I'm able to finally use it. Uh, but I just was ungrateful and um, just trying to be somebody I wasn't. Yeah. All are those you, years. Were you, are you an only child? Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm, that's not good. No, I think that has some stuff to do with it, too. Yeah. Very spoiled. So are you still spoiled? Mm, not like I was, yes. <laughs> what the? He and said, so. He said, what Yes. The? <laughs> what the? And so, I, I think I heard or read where you, say, you said that uh, the, there are a lot of lesbian stuff going on, like lesbian sex thing, right? That happens. More mm -hmm. so than the men prison? I have no idea what goes on in there. I don't know if they're lesbians in the men's prison. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, he ain't talking about not, that. Uh, you know, people are so relational. And women do have a tendency to be dependent on the validation in a relationship. So everybody feeds off of each other. Yeah. And some people need that to get through their time. So there is some... A lot of people are gay for the stay. Uh, they just need that to, to right. get through their time. Gayful That's because state. women are very emotional, so they need to feel like they're being loved and giving love. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to say about this one. This one is uh, pretty straightforward. You know, she went to, I don't know what she went to prison for. I would like to know, but I got to watch the whole podcast, I guess, to know that. But if anybody knows what she did, drop it in the comments, man. And if anybody's been to women's prison, any woman been to women's prison, um, is it is it usually forced to be a lesbian or just, you know, it's just freedom they choose or pick and choose? I know I know it's probably like a mix of both, but uh, drop that down in the comments as well. And smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. It's Eddie Yeah TV. Catch you guys next live stream. Or not next live stream, <laughs> next reaction. Peace.